So this is how you want to re convert the audio. First you need to find the file, so just go to start and my computer. Now just go to wherever you download the files. Um, I have some in here. do this one. Alright, so now what you want to do, well this is how I do it, just make a folder like on your desktop and call it what the bootleg's called, so the Hartford 90. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to go up and open up a little Trader's Helper. and then you want to go under format and you want to convert encoded format so now what you're going to do is you're going to hit the add button or you can just drag the files directly in I'll just hit the add button so then you go to where you have your bootleg there it is go to disk one select all the files hit open then you go to add and then just go to disk two and open okay so now that's going to all be in the queue um, so then you want to go and choose your converting format now if if you're going to be just encoding it directly to a CD I recommend using the FLAC and then do it again to go into uh, WAVE. But if you're going to just be using it for your like iPod or something, MP3 will be fine. Make sure it is var variable bitrate, and I always use, use the highest quality, but it's really not necessary. Just make sure you don't use the lowest. Any Anything to or above is better. It's pretty good. Um, same directory as a source file. I don't like doing that because it gets messy. So you just click this directory and browse for the folder that you made on your desktop. So just hit OK. You don't want to have this selected. And then you just hit convert and you sit. So once that's done, you uh, go on to the next step. So as you can see, it's almost done. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is you want to use the checksums to make sure that all your files are downloaded properly. Um, most bootlegs come with the checksums. Well, all of them have to. So if this wants to cooperate. Oh, okay. You want to go to Documents or whatever you have it and if you look in the one that I just used hold on you'll see a file called okay sometimes I keep it inside here the MD5 file now you'll just double click it and it'll open up in traders little helper and you'll hit verify and if anything doesn't come up right you want to re-download that file um, you want to do that for both disks uh, so there you go and you have to make sure the MD5 file is in the directory that it needs to be in sometimes like this just happened recently I downloaded the DVD and it was out in the main directory however it had to be in the video TS folder because it didn't see the files any other way so is this done? Okay, great. So it says here no errors occurred. Now that's a good thing. Sometimes if errors do occur, you want to just retry those files that had an error. Usually you can just look over here and it'll say successfully converted. And if not, it'll be in red and say did not convert. And it usually gives you a reason. So we're done with that. Yes. Okay. So now you want to go to the folder that you left your stuff in. And you'll see all these MP3s. 
and they're not indexed at all. So if you want to put them in on your iPod, they'll just be a bunch of files, and that's no good. So what you want to do is you want to select them all. You want to right-click them. You want to hit Properties. Then you want to go to Summary, and then bring this up. Now, most of the time, I think you'll see this. Uh, you want to hit the Advanced tab, and then you can enter in all the values. So this is Rush, the uh, Hartford, Hartford-90, and the year's 90, of course. You don't, you don't need to put all this in. Usually just the album and the artist will suffice. And that's all I'm going to put in for this one. So you just hit OK. And then it will change all the ones. So then when you put them in iTunes or whatever your program is that you use, they'll, they'll be easy to find, they'll be indexed, and all will be well. Now the next step is you... Now this is just what I do. You can do it however you want. But the next step is you want to open up uh, the file that came with it, the... Uh, text file I don't know why my computer is going so slow today but uh... it is so we'll wait okay so you want to go in documents downloads And now you want to go over here to the text file. So you open that up. And then here it will tell you the disk, um, the track list. So what I usually do, and you don't have to do this, is what I'll put is just I'll roughly edit it by putting a 1 and then a 2 and just so on and so forth. That, um, you know, you Where's the text file? Okay. Um, here's all the stuff. I've numbered them all. So all you're going to do now is just go into iTunes. Hit File. Um, add Folder. Actually, before you do that, this is just for me, how I organize. I uh, would open up Explorer and go to Documents, Music, Rush and just drag this folder in there. Um, just keeps everything more organized. So then you just go to the iTunes, add folder, go to music. Go to that one, hit OK. Okay, so they're all cataloged, so um, just type in the keyword. Alright, so then all you have to do is hit get info in the info for this file pull up the oh, text document and you'll see this is force 10 and it's track number one and you just do that for all of them uh, and then you're done hope this helped